an avid cook and I enjoy preparing a special meal for Ginny and I when we're here at our home base. I wanted to take that along with me on the road in our home away from home. But cooking in an RV can certainly have its challenges. I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite recipes that I've adapted for RV travel. This is Road Tested. We just got back from a great day of sightseeing in Asheville with a stopover at the farmer's market. And now we're ready to put together a quick meal uh, that's something simple and easy. Tonight we've chosen uh, a favorite veggie uh, meal for us, and that's the portobello dippers. These dippers feature portobello mushrooms, smoked gouda, arugula with a really nice mustard vinaigrette, and some fresh sourdough bread that we picked up at the farmer's market. The dipping soup will be a Pacific boxed creamy tomato basil soup. First thing we're going to do is put together the mustard vinaigrette. Let's get to that. I like to use this cruette that we purchased to make this ahead. You can whisk it or shake it in this cruette. Let's get to it. So we're going to put together a tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, a teaspoon of Dijon, and a bit of salt to taste. You're going to whisk that, or in this case, just shake it. And there you have a quick mustard vinaigrette. Now let's prepare the portobello mushrooms. Very simply, we're using approximately six ounces of mushrooms because that's what I could find at the local supermarket. The recipe calls for a half pound. You want to at least have two large portobello mushrooms. First thing we're going to do with them is degill them. That's a simple process. You're just going to take a spoon and rub the underbelly of these portobellas to get the gills off. Now we're going to slice these into nice quarter to half inch strips. Now we're going to saute the portobello mushrooms in a tablespoon of olive oil in a non-stick 12-inch skillet over medium-high heat. We're going to saute these for approximately three to five minutes until they've lightly browned. While the mushrooms are sautéing, here's some video from our stop at the North Carolina Arboretum.
it too. Now would be a great time to get the tomato soup started uh, so it'll be warm when your sandwiches are done. Gotta stir them a bit. They're working pretty good. Now we're going to add a tablespoon of garlic, minced, give it a stir, and a quarter cup of white wine. We want to cook that down until it evaporates. Okay, that's evaporated. We're going to set our mushrooms aside. And begin to assemble the sandwiches. So the first thing we want to do is to place our vinaigrette over our arugula. Season our mushrooms with a little salt and pepper. We've chosen to use uh, sourdough that we picked up today at a farmer's market uh, close by here and uh, it just had looked great, smelled great. Uh, you can use a, 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 a whole wheat bread if you'd like, but you want something that's pretty substantial and a nice good thick piece. This bread looks great. It is going to be a little big for the pan, so we are going to make one sandwich at a time rather than two. If you have a bit bigger griddle or a bit bigger pan, you could place them both in. Um, this bread is a little large, so we'll make them one at a time. First thing we will do is top the bread with the smoked Gouda cheese. We're going to divide the cheese up. Uh, we've come up with approximately a little over half a cup, three quarters a cup of shredded smoked Gouda cheese. We'll then add half the mushroom mixture to each of the sandwiches. We'll top that with half the arugula mixture. your hands. And we'll finish that with the 
rest of the smoked gouda. Top each of the sandwiches. And now we've assembled the dippers, it's time to reheat the pan. First, we're going to coat the skillet with some Pam. This is the skillet you've cooked the mushrooms in. Now we will add a teaspoon of olive oil. We're going to heat the pan over medium heat for approximately two minutes. Now we're going to add the sandwiches. in this case the sandwich to the pan and we'll toast that for approximately two minutes. I like to add a pan, a little heat, a little weight to it. It helps with the toasting process. We're going to toast these until the cheese begins to melt and the bread is a golden brown. While our bread is getting a nice golden brown, let's take a ride up the Blue Ridge to Craggy Garden. See why my whole world is better with my baby. Yeah, it's better with my baby. That's looking perfect. We'll toast the other side. The pans, as you well know, get very hot on a propane stove. So you want to keep an eye on your sandwiches when you turn them over. Looks good. Now you're going to want to let that rest for approximately two minutes or so. While that's resting, you can put your next sandwich in. Now that you've toasted and melted the cheese for the sandwich sandwiches and they've rested, you're going to want to slice them in half to serve them up. And there you have it, portobello.
Bella Melt Dippers with creamy tomato soup. Thanks for watching Road Tested Recipe today. I've created a link below so you can find the complete details of this recipe by just clicking on it. I'd also like you to stop by lovetowanderrv.com for more recipes just like this. I've also included a link for some of the equipment I use, like this Thermapen, uh, so you could easily find some of that as well. If you like what you see and what you've been seeing, then please subscribe to this channel and you'll see more of the same. Thanks for stopping by.